I did not change the aspect ratio. That is how the game does it. Part of these final hours. Anyway, so, uh, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we helped with Romani on the, we learned the song, we helped with Romani on the, uh, the, uh, last, uh, the, uh, dawn of the, uh, the night of the first day. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go back to Power Fortress and, and get the remaining eggs that are there. Now we have the hook shot. See what happens first. We get there first, or uh, does the uh, Pirates Fortress? Hey, we get there. We get there first. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's gonna get a game. Do we get there? Do we get to see how far we get in Pirates Fortress for change days? I was to put on our stone mask. So this time it's easier as we have the hook shot. Hold on. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. I've never had a day transition in the Pirates Fortress, so um... Yeah, we're gonna um... Now we have the hook shot, we don't have to do the first part of the uh... Sneaking under the uh, fortress, so we can just hook shot our way, and um, we just have to get three remaining eggs. And we have now three bottles. This should be an easier task than it was before. It's not really um. There are a few uh. I will say the stone mask, it's um much it makes this part a hell of a lot easier. I chose I've done this without the stone mask, but I wanted to do it for the playthrough because like I didn't want to spend hours here when I could have been saving Romani during those hours. Anyway, so uh we're going to uh Now we're gonna go back and uh now, the only problem is I don't exactly... I remember where some of the, uh... Where some of the egg locations are, but I don't remember where they all are. So, uh... Yeah, there might be some cutting involved if I, um... Uh, there might be some editing involved if I don't get all of these, um... So, yeah, this is a... This is a portrait. Look, we can just walk past her and we don't... <laughs> yeah, we're invisible to them basically hold on when we go here basically alt <laughs> we're fooled by that mask yeah these this she's one of the few Ger gerudos who can basically uh see through our disguise hold on Thought I could hook shot and stun her, but not quite. Oh, I got an idea. I don't have any Daku nuts. Fuck, sorry. Not bad idea. Yeah, I only she only takes two hits with the gilded sword. And we can get one. Um, we can get another egg. We have more arrows, which makes up for the ones we lost during the uh, Romani side quest. We're gonna, uh... Wow! Okay, so let's go in here. I kind of tempted to see what's in the chest, but I think it's just 20 rupees. Yeah, 20 rupees. We already have a max, so uh, it's not really worth it. We're gonna put back on the stone mask. I believe that's, um... I think there's one, um... I'm trying to remember these all are, because, like, on average, I would say I played the Majora's Mask maybe once a year. I definitely have played through this game a lot. And I know this game pretty much in and out.
I think there's one up there with that, uh, yeah, there's one up there. That one can definitely throw off a lot of first-timers. I see, there's not one up there, there's a chest, but I can use, uh, there's just a chest which I'm not gonna grab because I think it's rupees. So, uh, get out off there. And so this is another, uh, area we have to fight a Gerudo. Yeah, we don't have to use Metal Gear Solid sneaking tactics, we can just use this. I think she says normally. Halt. It takes courage to come thieving in a pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this for you. So yeah, if you have the stone mask on, she says the funnier dialogue. Yeah, three hits with the gilded sword. I think I walked in that other door with the uh, pirate. Yeah, so uh. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, get the eggs. There's only one more egg we have to get, and I think I have an idea where it is. We already went there, so, uh, there's only one place left to look in this whole fortress. It's, uh, the only I can see it because of the Nintendo 64 draw distance. Yeah, I thought there was, uh, not draw distance, I thought there was something over there, but, like, uh, pretty much the opposite side of where we can't, we went to that first one. Yeah, this is the this is where the last one is. I think in that chest is a hundred rupees, but I'm not gonna quite do that. Here's anyway, the last girl. I wanna get the more amusing dialogue. This is as far as you go. Do you think you can trick us with that mask? Yeah, it's definitely more amusing dialogue. So yeah, she took two hits. Ah, oh, not bad, but don't think it ends here. Yeah, we no longer need the stone mask. So we can just uh, get our bottle out. This is the last of these ore eggs we have to get. However, these are these are the last of Zora eggs we have to get in Pirates Fortress, because there's still three more with, that are missing. But I know how to get them. But yeah, we're gonna get caught on purpose when you just get out of here get the hell out of here. How quick is gonna get caught? Want to hear a disgusting fact about these eggs, by the way? On the night of the final day, you can, you, or, well, not the night of the final day, on 10 o'clock at night in Clock Town, you can sell these eggs to the curiosity shop, and the curiosity shop owner will actually take it. Yeah, very disgusting if you think about it. So yeah, I'm gonna soar to, I'm gonna soar because it's quicker. I'm just gonna sort of that uh, lab truck, it's just quicker. But yeah, that's all we have to do with uh, Pirate's Fortress.
I look quicker options in Zelda games, but anyway, so, uh... What we're gonna do is, uh, we're going to, uh... Put, we're gonna put those eggs in the marine research rod. We're gonna do the first egg. Another one. The uh, last ones we got in uh, Power Quarter, but they're still through remaining. Let's find out the next part. So, uh, next time on Majora's Mask, we are going to get the three remaining eggs. So I'll see you guys next time.